Welcome to this thigh slimming workout. We are starting off with a warm up of Macarena. You want to keep your core tight and just roll your hips around in a big circle. Good job. Perfect. All right, next up we have Macarena hops. Same motion, but now you add a hop into it. This workout is great for slimming your thighs. It's organized into two sections. We start with the toning portion of the workout, and then we take a break, and then we do the cardio portion. So you are toning your thighs and burning fat off your thighs in one workout. It is so effective. All right, next up for our warm up, we are doing leg raises. Just keep that core tight, make sure you're balanced, and raise one leg at a time. We're gonna do this for about, I don't know, 10 seconds and then switch legs. Go ahead, switch legs, and do the same thing. This is going to help warm up your joints for this workout. Perfect, last warm up is air squats. You're going to keep your core tight, pretend to be sitting back into a chair, and squeeze your booty on the way up. Good job. Just a couple more. Okay, so for the first exercise, we are doing leg bends. You are on the floor, your lower back is touching the floor, and you are just pointing your toes and bending your legs like you see me do. You want to really control this movement with the front of your thigh. Let's get started. This one is so easy, right? I love it when the workout starts with something really simple that most people can do. Keep going. Keep those toes pointed. Good job. Okay, let's move on to leg lifts. You're going to lay on your side, keep your core tight, keep your one leg bent and the other leg is just going up and down and up and down. This really targets your outer thigh, that side booty area, mm, so good. Hang in there, really control this movement, keep that core tight, try to stay balanced. Good. Just a few more, you got this, keep going. All right, go ahead and switch to the other side. We're going to do, oh, no, 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 don't switch. Stay in that same position. We're going to lift your other leg that was resting to get the inner thigh as well. <laughs> Let's go. It might be difficult to keep that other leg balanced, especially if you have flexibility issues. Just do your best. Do your best to target that inner thigh area. Keep that core tight, keep breathing. Good, just hang in there. We're almost at the end of this movement. Perfect, all right, now go ahead and switch to the other side and we're going to do leg lifts on the other side. Just bend the leg that's not working, keep your core tight, try to stay balanced, and think happy thoughts. I'm here to do this whole workout with you. Let's get into it. Just a few more seconds. Keep that core tight, stay balanced, good. All 
All right, so now the leg that was working is going to rest and you're just going to raise the leg that was resting to target your inner thigh, keep your core tight, and it's okay if you're struggling to balance. This is a bit tricky if you're not very flexible. All right, let's do it. Just do your best, that's all you can do. After this, we have two more exercises and you get a break. So keep going. Keep going, don't stop. Good, just hang in there, all right. Next up, we have hamstring raises. You are going to lay on your belly and just raise your leg one at a time. Try to engage your booty as you do this and the back of your thigh. Take your time, there is no rush. Just really learn the movement and then you're going to be a pro in no time. This is great because it really targets the back of your thigh. So we've done the front, we've done the sides, we've done the insides, and now we're working on the back of your thigh and your booty. Just a few more seconds. After this, one more exercise and you get a full minute to rest. Good job, all right. You're gonna flip over to your back and you're going to make big circles with your leg. Throughout this movement, don't let your leg touch the floor at all. You are drawing a circle with your leg, your core is tight. Put your hand under your booty like I'm doing to support your lower back. So good, right? It burns your whole leg and it also targets your lower abs. This is a good killer move, and you got it, you're doing it. Just a few more seconds, keep going. Don't let that leg touch the floor, I see you. <laughs> good. Awesome work. Go ahead and take a full minute to rest, drink some water, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's totally free for you and it means so much to me. Check the description box for freebies, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you after the break. Welcome back. Now we're going to do the cardio portion, starting with fire foot. Your core is tight and you are t you are jogging like there's fire underneath your feet. Just do it with me. This looks so hilarious, but it's so effective. Keep that core tight and just move your feet as quickly as you can. What are you gonna do if somebody walks in while you're doing this? My mom saw me doing this and she was laughing so hard. All right, next up we have butt kicks. You're just going to jog on the spot and try to tap your booty with your heel. If your legs can't touch your booty, that's fine. Just go through your own range of motion, keep that core tight, and let's burn some fat. It's good to start off slow and then pick up the pace. Good, this really gets your heart rate up and helps you burn fat off of your whole body and also off of your thighs because your legs are working.
just a few more seconds. You look good. You're doing good. Okay, catch your breath because we're going straight into high knees. You're going to keep your core tight and try to touch your knees to your hand. Your hand should be around your waist level. Start off slow and then go as fast as you can. Keep that core tight, keep breathing. You got this. You're almost at the end. Just two more moves and we're done with this workout. Your thighs are going to thank you after this. Good, all right. So we're doing a wide stance knee to elbows. Your core is tight, your hands are up and to the side and you're just trying to touch your knees to your elbows. Super duper straightforward. Go at your own pace. You worked hard. You're probably tired. And I'm proud of you for making it this far. Go at your own pace. The faster you can do this without messing up your form, the better. But just go at your own pace, slow and steady. It's all about consistency and you're moving. That's all that matters. Just a few more. Good job. Wow, you're doing so good. All right, last move, squats. Just the same old air squats we did in the warm up, except now you're doing it with more intensity and you're doing it faster to incorporate some cardio in there. It's okay if your knees go past your toes a little bit, just as long as it's not too much, and you are sitting back before you go down. Good job. Go as low as is comfortable for you. This is our last move of the day. You have worked out today, and that is such a huge deal. Good job. I hope you are proud of yourself, because I am proud of you. You did it, you nailed it. All right, go ahead and stretch out the front of your thigh. Whew, hold on to a wall if you need to. Keep your core tight to maintain your balance. Go ahead and switch legs. Wow, you worked, you worked, you worked today. You have worked today. Keep your core tight for the next move and just bend forward. There you go. You're going to feel a nice stretch in the back of your thigh. You can release and stand up when you're comfortable. Keep that core tight and do it again. Good. Slow and steady. Finally, I just want you to stand and just lunge forward. Get a nice deep stretch going. Stand up and do the same thing. Just lunge. Good. Finally, I just want you to do some standing side bends. Core is tight and you're just stretching from one side to the next. This is really good for stretching out your lower back and your sides as well. Breathe, yeah. You did it, that's the end. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next workout video.